What up, everybody? It's your boy Chris Rosco with Operation Moksha, and today I'm going to be talking about shyness. This one comes from a question that I got in my DMs about how to overcome shyness. And this is something that I've dealt with in various different times in my life to varying different degrees, and it's relatively simple to deal with. Um, it's not necessarily easy and it's not necessarily quick, but it's relatively simple. And if you do some of the things that I'm going to start outlining here, you'll be able to start noticing shifts in your life relatively quickly and they'll be sustainable and consistent, which is the most important part. So what is shyness even in the first place? Luckily, this one's relatively easy to explain, and it's basically just the fear of being seen a particular way. Now, that's generally pretty obvious. It's generally pretty obvious that when you're a shy person, you know that you don't want to say certain things or you don't want to do certain things or you don't want to expose yourself in a certain way so that you don't maybe get laughed at or ridiculed or pushed away or uh, judged or abandoned or rejected or some kind of thing. You know you're afraid of something there. But what you don't know is what you're specifically afraid of and why until you start to ask those questions. And those are the most important questions to ask when you're dealing with shyness, is what particular thing am I afraid of happening? And how would I feel as a result of that thing happening? Because most of the time, we're not really afraid of anything happening. We're afraid of the way that we would feel as a result of that thing happening. Like rejection. If you were to go up to somebody that you really want to hang out with or you're attracted to or something like that, and then they were to reject you, and if that didn't bring up any emotions in you, then it would just be like, okay, cool, we're not, we're not a good fit. Like, that's fine. I'm not good for everybody. Not everybody's good for me. Like, let me go about my business. Everything's great. But if you go and do something like that, either to someone that you want to hang out with or you're attracted to or something like that, and they reject you and you feel feelings about it, and you make that mean things about you, well, that's when it gets fucking terrible. That's when it becomes a problem. It's with the meaning that you associate with it and the subsequent emotions that show up as a result of that happening. So it's really the emotions and the ideas that come along with these experiences, with these experiences that you really need to be making peace with. So the question comes back to what specific set of circumstances and what specific set of emotions and ideas am I afraid of? Now, you either might be afraid of coming across as stupid, you might be coming, afraid of coming across as weak, you might be afraid of coming across as bad, you might be coming, afraid of coming across as a loser. There's a number of things you might be afraid of coming across as or have people see you as or be called or be seen in yourself and all these different fucking things. So you need to get really, really clear on what it is that you don't want to be seen as how that would make you feel and why that's such a bad thing to begin with. Because for me, the thing I didn't want to be seen as was bad because my trauma was around losing my dad as a kid. And so in order to make peace with that, I blamed myself and then ended up judging myself as bad because I thought I killed my dad. And that's a pretty bad thing to do. <laughs> so I was afraid that I was a bad person for a long time. And so I would risk doing anything that might make me feel bad or might make me look like a bad person or might make someone else think of me as a bad person. And I was really just afraid of being bad, but that showed up as being shy. That showed up as not having anything to say and, and keeping my mouth shut and not going after the relationships and the people that I wanted to hang out with and all that sort of stuff. It showed up as me being shy, but the reality of the situation was that I was afraid of being seen or felt as a bad person person. So that's what's really, really important here. It looked like I was shy, but the reality of the situation was I was, look, I was afraid of looking like a bad person. So the question is, what is it that you're afraid of looking like or having somebody call you or be seen as or something like that? And how would you feel about it as a result? So those emotions are what you really need to be making peace with here. And here's the kicker. A lot of the times people will view things like shyness as what if I'm a bad person in my case? Or like, what if I'm a loser? Or what if I'm stupid? Or what if I'm blah, 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 fill in the blanks. Now, this is a shift that I noticed to be basically universal. This is kind of almost always the case. If you're afraid of being seen some way, chances are some part of you already believes you are that thing. What you're afraid of is having that belief validated. So it's not that I'm afraid I'm a bad person in my instance, it's that I already believe I'm a bad person and I don't want any internal or external validation of that belief. 
So the work to be done around here is the fact that you already believe you are whatever it is you don't want people to judge you as. I already believed I was weak. I already believed I was bad. I already believed all these things. And so I avoided anything that might validate it. So if you're afraid of looking weak or dumb or stupid or bad or a loser or immature, like whatever it is you're afraid of being seen as, you can bet you already see yourself as that thing. And the real work to be done here is to nurture the part of yourself that sees yourself that way until that belief can fall apart on its own. So I had to love the part of me that felt like it was a bad person until I could understand why it felt like a bad person, and then I could address it. It took me a while, but I was like, oh, I feel like I'm a bad person because when my dad died, that was the only way I could gain control of the scenario. The, the world has occurred to me as so chaotic that I had to blame myself to feel like I was in control, and I called myself a bad person to cope with all that. Like, fuck, I wasn't really ever a bad person at all. I didn't do anything. I was just too young to cope with it. And then so as I make peace with the fact that I feel like I'm a bad person already and I understand where it comes from, a lot of the stuff starts to fall apart. And you can like stop being so shy because I'm not worried about being a bad person anymore because I know I never was. Now, when it comes to this belief that I was weak, I did, I did do a lot of weak things. I did show up as weak a lot. So this is a little bit more complicated. In order to deal with that, I had to love the part of me that told me that I was weak. I had to listen to it. I had to feel its feelings, no matter how uncomfortable it was, no matter, no matter how terrible it was. I had to listen to it. I had to feel the feelings. And ultimately, I had to say, why, do you, why are you so convinced that I'm weak? And it's like, well, you hide all the time. You don't tell the truth. You don't pursue the things that are meaningful for you. You don't go after what you really want. Like You literally just act weak. And so for me, I had to be like, yeah, you know what? You're right. You're right. I do hide from a lot of those things. And I don't want to be seen as weak. And so I just shut the fuck up, which makes me feel even weaker. And like, you're right. That does create a self-fulfilling prophecy that I do have to deal with. So let me love you so that you and I can get on the same team. And then I'll start leaning into my comfort, my leaning outside of my comfort zone a little bit more so I can feel stronger and stronger and stronger. And next thing I know, I wasn't really worried about people seeing me as weak anymore because I no longer saw myself as weak. So whatever it is that you don't want others to see in you, it's because you already believe that about yourself and you don't want it validated. So the question is, what do you already believe about yourself? Why do you already believe that? And what does that part of you need in order to either let it go or assimilate and integrate or to teach you a valuable lesson that you actually need to use in order to improve the quality of your life? And so here's my step that I usually use to do that is like for shyness, because that's what we're talking about. Like imagine the mode, the version of yourself that you'd like to be. Like if you weren't shy, what would you be? All right. Like more social, more outgoing, more blah, 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 all these sorts of things. Imagine yourself being that way and then pay attention to all the parts of your personality that speak up to either tell you that you can't have that or you shouldn't be that or you don't deserve that or all these different things. And then just listen to that part of you. Listen to it. Let it speak. Let it feel. Let it exist exactly as it is and try and give it as much love as you possibly can until it starts to open up to you and tell you why it feels the way that it feels and why it does the thing that it does. And then when you can understand why it is the way it is, you can start to help it. And you can start it, you can start to help it alleviate its pain and solve its problems and meet its needs and all these sorts of things. And then you'll find that you won't really worry about being seen as that thing anymore. And your shyness will start to go away on its own. So in order to wrap all this up, as if you're shy, it's because you don't want to be seen as a specific thing or a set of specific things. And you don't want to feel the emotions associated with it. And those emotions exist because you already believe that way and you already feel that way. And so you don't want it validated. But the key is to validate in yourself that you do already feel that way and it's okay to feel that way and that you're still worthy of love even though you feel that way and that you feel that way for a reason and that you're going to love yourself enough to find that reason and do something about it so you can come more into alignment with yourself, your truth, your heart, and all these different things and just feel a whole hell of a lot better about yourself 
and no longer have to worry about people seeing you in a certain way. Because the reality is the situation is like, if you're an honest person, people are going to dislike you. People are going to reject you. They're going to call you all kinds of stuff. Like I'm a public person on the internet. I've probably been called every name you can possibly imagine by somebody at some point. That's just life. If you're going to be a person who's going to go out there and live your life and be honest and free and truly liberated, people are going to have some shit to say about it. And people are going to have shit to say about it even if you don't do that. So you're never going to get away from being judged ever. You can only really decide what you're going to be judged for. Are you going to be judged for being the type of person who hides out? Are you going to be judged for the type of person who really goes for it? People are going to judge you either way. So the question is, are you willing to let them judge you and love the parts of you that fear that judgment until it stops being a problem? Because that's really what's the opportunity here. So if you are one of these people, basically all there is you need to know is that there's a part of you that's hurting that needs something from you. And if you can validate it yourself and love it, then you won't be so worried about external circumstances validating for you. So this is all I have to say about shyness. Um, this should give you a pretty well-rounded view of how to look at it and how, how to integrate it and how to treat it within yourself. If you have any further questions or there's anything I can help you with, let me know. I love doing these videos about stuff you guys actually ask me about. So um, send me in all your questions and I'll be happy to address them as quickly as I can. All right, I love you. I'll see you next time.